Hey guys. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. In previous video we have discussed. Moisture content test on soil. Today we discuss next test of soil. That is Atterberg limit test. So move towards our today's topic. To measure the critical water content of a fine grained soil, Atterberg provided three limits which exhibits the properties of fine grained soil at different conditions. The limits are liquid limit, plastic limit and shrinkage limit. These limits are calculated by individual tests as follows. Now move toward liquid limit test on soil. In this test, Cassegrain's liquid limit device is used which consists a cup with moving up and down mechanism. The cup is filled with soil sample and groove is created in the middle of cup with proper tool. When the cup is moved up and down with the help of handle the groove becomes closed at some point. Note down the number of blows required to close the groove. After that water content of soil is determined. Repeat this procedure three times and draw a graph between log end and water content of soil. Water content corresponding to n equals 25 is the liquid limit of soil. Now move toward plastic limit test on soil. Take the soil sample and add some water to make it plastic enough to shape into small ball. Leave it for some time and after that put that ball in the glass plate and rolled it into threads of 3 mm diameter. If the threads do not break when we roll it to below 3 mm diameter, then water content is more than the plastic limit. In that case reduce water content and repeat the same procedure until crumbling occurs at 3 mm diameter. Finally find out the water content of resultant soil which value is nothing but plastic limit. Now move toward shrinkage limit test on soil. In case of shrinkage limit, the water content in the soil is just sufficient to fill the voids of soil. That is degree of saturation is of 100%. So, there is no change in volume of soil if we reduce the shrinkage limit. It is determined by the below formula for the given soil sample. Where M1 is initial mass. V1 is initial volume. M2 is dry mass. V2 is volume after drying. PW is density of water. Now move toward Proctor's compaction test on soil. Proctor's test is conducted to determine compaction characteristics of soil. Compaction of soil is nothing but reducing air voids in the soil by densification. The degree of compaction is measured in terms of dry density of soil. In Proctor's compaction test, given soil sample sieve through 20 mm and 4.75 mm sieves. Percentage passing 4.75 mm and percentage retained on 4.75 mm are mixed with certain proportions. Add water to it and leave it in airtight container for 20 hrs. Mix the soil and divide it into 6 to 8 parts. Position the mold and pour one part of soil into the mold as 3 layers with 25 blows of ramming for each layer. Remove the base plate and weight the soil along with mold. Remove the soil from mold and take the small portion of soil sample at different layers and conduct water content test. From the values find out the dry density of soil and water content and draw a graph between them and note down the maximum dry density and optimum water content of the compacted soil sample at highest point on the curve. If you enjoyed our today's video, like, comment and share our video. And subscribe our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Help us grow more. Thank you. Bye.